Morning, June 13. Whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Revelation 22, 17. Jesus says, Take freely. He wants no payment or preparation. He seeks no recommendation from our virtuous emotions. If you have no good feelings, if you be but willing, you are invited, therefore come. You have no belief and no repentance, come to him, and he will give them to you. Come just as you are, and take freely, without money and without price. He gives himself to needy ones. The drinking fountains at the corners of our streets are valuable institutions, and we can hardly imagine anyone so foolish as to feel for his purse, when he stands before one of them, and to cry, I cannot drink because I have not five pounds in my pocket. However poor a man is, there is the fountain, and just as he is he may drink of it. Thirsty passengers, as they go by, whether they are dressed in fustian or in broadcloth, do not look for any warrant for drinking, its being there is their warrant for taking its water freely. The liberality of some good friends has put the refreshing crystal there and we take it, and ask no questions. Perhaps the only persons who need go thirsty through the street where there is a drinking fountain are the fine ladies and gentlemen who are in their carriages. They are very thirsty, but cannot think of being so vulgar as to get out to drink. It would demean them, they think, to drink at a common drinking fountain, so they ride by with parched lips. Oh, how many there are who are rich in their own good works and cannot therefore come to Christ. I will not be saved they say, in the same way as the harlot or the swearer. What? Go to heaven in the same way as a chimney sweep. Is there no pathway to glory but the path which led the thief the? I will not be saved that way. Such proud boasters must remain without the living water, but, whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely.